Hello friends, now our topic is about application of biotechnology in food, pharmaceuticals and agriculture industries. Coming to the picture, so in this picture, the biotechnology is being applied into industrial, so that why we call it as industrial biotechnology for energy production and for new materials. And next, it is used in forensic biotechnology for paternity test, scientific investigations. And it is used in environmental biotechnology for cleaning through bioremediation, prevention and for environmental problems. And next, agricultural biotechnology for plant agriculture, farms and food processing. Medical biotechnology, diagnostic, therapeutics and vaccines. So in all these, the biotechnology is being applied. And next, so coming to the biotechnological applications, the major source will go to healthcare. So coming to the healthcare for the production of RNA our DNA products, so vaccines and diagnostics, monoclonal antibodies, stem cells, tissue specific delivery methods and next industry, enzymes, fermentation based products and food biotech instruments and equipments, bioenergy, biofuel, bioinformatics and biomining. Coming to the agriculture, it is genetically modified plants so and hybrids micropropagation, biofertilizers, biopesticides and animal improvement. Coming to the environment for soil and water remediation, biosafety and GMOs. So coming to the percentage of biotechnology firms by application, in this pie chart we can able to see 51% means half of the percent of the applications will goes to health industry and remaining will goes to uh, next it goes to agriculture next it is food and beverages next natural resources environment industrial processing bioinformatics and the remaining 9% will goes to other industries coming to the application of biotechnology in food industry food biotechnology is the application of technology to modify genes of animals plants and microorganisms to create a new species which have desired production, marketing or nutritional related properties. So biotechnology includes a wide range of diverse technologies that may be applied in each of the different foods and agricultural sectors. So biotechnology is food processing sector plays an important role in food fermentations, food additives processing aids, food safety through advances in microbial genetics, detection of pathogens, mycotoxins, detection and identification of foods and food ingredients. And next, biotechnology in the food processing sector targets the selection and improvement of microorganisms with the objective of improving the process control, yields and efficiency as well as quality, safety and consistency of bioprocessed products. For example, BT brinjal. Examples are emulsifiers. Acacia gum is predominantly used as an emulsifier in the food industry due to its emulsifying and stabilizing process using new molecular tools. Emulsifiers are now synthesized for covalently coupled hydro carbohydrates like starch, pectin, sugars, proteins from wheat, milk and soya bean. Emulsifiers are nothing but converting a bigger fat droplet into very smaller fat droplets. That whole process we call it as emulsification. Next, peanut allergy testing. Many people has been found to display allergic reactions after eating the peanuts. To combat this problem means to fight with this problem, it is essential to identify the cause of this allergy. For this purpose, a highly sensitive immunological assay has been developed by a Netherlands-based company to detect the peanut proteins in food. So this is the first peanut assay with commercial applications. And next, effective monitoring. So the scientists are developing versatile gastrointestinal models for detailed monitoring of digestibility, bioconversion, and biodegradability of the foods and drugs and contaminants from the point of safety and functionality. These models are now used for the studying the digestive effect of nutritional foods. Next, calcium intake. 
one of the most important and innovative application of biotechnology is to improve the calcium level in our food stuff research have shown that oligofructose a naturally occurring low digestible oligosaccharide increases the calcium absorption by much as 22 percentage so such studies can open the flood gates for new areas of health application and new classes of ingredients so these findings can be used to create a new product in the diet diary bakery and confectioneries and drinks so food from microbes while brewing and baking have existed from ages we are now using a genetically pure strains in the process so study shows that nearly 1.5 million tons of bakers yeast is produced throughout the world every year so the modern pans have also reduced the time required in the fermentation process for months to days similarly the fungus aspergillus oryzea is being used to produce a wide range of important enzymes so a wide range of fermented fruits and drinks is available in any different countries so we have the beer olives bread salami cheese wine and next application of biotechnology in pharmaceutical industry biotechnology is the science which combines the biology with the technology that is being used rampantly in pharmaceutical sector this science has proved to be boon especially in manufacturing of vaccines and genetical testing manufacturing of vaccines every pharmaceutical company aims at producing the products that can help and tackle the severe health problems and benefit the society in major ways with the increase in population changing the lifestyles and economies the entire world is facing the health problems and diseases so that are tough to cure so biotechnology has successfully found the cure for numerous diseases including the cardiovascular disorders arthritis hepatitis b bone fractures etc by investing the heavily in biotechnological research and testing many pharma manufacturers have been able to find solutions to disease that at a point of time were considered to be incurable the science thus has helped in busting myths and scientists even now or studying the science and benefits it can bring to us biotechnology evolved in early 90s worldwide and within a span of almost 20 decades the science has changed the way a pharmaceutical company functions so biotech Uh, biotech makes us a use of molecule products and concepts which is also a prerequisite of pharma manufacturing companies the production cost of biotech based products are cheaper and this is the major reason why the pharma industry are embrace embrace this technology and has made it an indispensable part of its own self embraced sorry next examples insulin it is an important hormone regulating glucose levels for example we need to produce more amount of uh, insulin means we have to rely on biotechnological techniques anti hemophilic factor it is an important material purified from human blood and used in the treatment of hemophilia action has proved difficult because of infection of hemophilix with aids virus gene therapy is the use of G- dna as a pharmaceutical agent to treat the disease it derives its name from the idea that dna can be used to supplement or alter the genes within the individual cells as the therapy to treat the disease the most common form of gene therapy involves using dna that encodes a functional therapeutic gene to replace a mutated gene so coming to human serum albumin It is one of the most common blood proteins used in the treatment of shock injuries and such as burns. Engineered enzymes are these enzymes are used to treat a range of conditions from cardiac diseases to renal failure to certain types of inherited enzyme deficiencies also. Rapid advances are continuously being made in the field and new horizons includes the development of enzymes like biosensors or bioelectrodes to monitor many physiological process so applications of biotechnology in agriculture industry so many forms of human derived agricultural 
clear fit the broad definition of utilizing a biotechnological system to make the products. So indeed, the cultivation of plants may be viewed as earliest biotechnological enterprises. So agriculture has been theorized to have become the dominant way of producing the food since the Neolithic revolution. So application of biotechnology to plants or animals to improve their food processing properties. Example, development of flavor saver tomato variety genetically modified to reduce its ripening rate or to produce the proteins from genetically modified microorganisms to improve plant or animal production. Example, production of bovine somatotrophin, a hormone increases the milk production in dietary cows. So in dairy cows, by genetically modified bacteria. So these are not considered here. And gene technology can be used in agriculture and food production to increase the crop or animal resistance to pest while reducing the use of chemicals, increases the crop or animal tolerance to chemicals that are used to kill the harmful pest, create the disease resistance in crops and animals, improve the food yield per plant or animal. Make plants and animals more suited to environmental conditions. Example, drier regions or salty water. Improve the nutritional quality of the food produced by the plant or as well as animals. So the genetically modified crops or biotech crops, we also call it as, are plants used in agriculture, the DNA of which has been modified with genetic engineering techniques. In most cases, the aim is to reduce a new trait to the plant which does not occur naturally in the species. Coming to the flowers, this is some simply aesthetic application and an example of this is the use of gene recognition and transfer technique to improve the color, smell, size and other features of the flowers. Similarly, biotech has been used to make improvement to other common ornamental plants in particular shrubs and trees. Some of these changes are similar to those made of made to crops. Such an enhancing coal confront, confrontation of the breed of tropical plant. So it can be a growth in northern gardens. Next, biofuels. The agriculture industry plays a big role in the biofuel industry. As long as the feedstock for fermentation and cleansing of bio oil, biodiesel and bioethanol. So the genetic engineering and enzyme optimization technique are being used to develop the improved quality feedstocks for more efficient change and higher BTU outputs of the uh, biofuel outputs resulting in the fuel products. Thank you very much. Please do like, share, comment and subscribe to my channel for more biology videos.